Hi everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. This is our holiday edition and it will definitely get you in the spirit as we are here at Hess Park that's been transformed into the North Pole. Everyone's here for the annual brunch with Santa and of course Santa showed up on his fire truck sleigh to get this holiday party on its way. Oh. This is a great year. We have so much happening. We have Santa arriving on a fire truck. We have some violin. The PV strings will be entertaining. We also have a marionette show. We have a delicious breakfast. We have opportunities for photo opportunities with Santa Claus, and Santa's going to be giving out some gifts. So it's a really exciting morning. This is a gift to the community. The recreation parks was really hard to, you know, parks make life better. That's so that's what's great about it, because not only is it a really fun event for the kids, but it's also a fundraiser for our REACH program, which is a recreation program for uh, young adults with developmental disabilities. Tell us a little more about the REACH program, who it serves, and how it works. So in our given population, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, we have about 10% of our population that has some sort of developmental disability. So that's a lot of people when it comes down to it. So we're trying to provide recreation opportunities that they might not normally be able to enjoy. So it's been around about 35 years now, which is great. So we do all kinds of things. We do crafts, we go bowling, we've even been to a camel dairy. So what are the, uh, for someone that might want to enroll, how does that work? Was there an age limit? So this one is for young adults, so we basically start at age 18, but come summertime we have a program for younger kids It's a camp out of Ladera, Linda, so that's kind of fun too. Hi Liz, I'm here at the Reach Boutique table with Marie, and she's here to tell us about some of the gifts they have here today. We made um, cinnamon ornaments and cinnamon candles, and there's this the, um, chocolate snowman that was like a Hershey bar wrapped up like the snowman. There's one of the cinnamon ornaments that you could also purchase. <laughs> Cinnamon candle, all made by the Reach participants on Monday Monday evenings. <laughs> What's your fa favorite part of the Reach program? Just coming on Mondays and doing all the crafts they have for us. It's this is really fun. <laughs> Thank you. It's wonderful to be here with Council Member Eric Alegria and his family. Happy holidays. What are you looking forward to today? Well, Brunch with Santa. Of course, I'm looking forward to meeting Santa. And all of my four kids are excited about that. And we're just excited to be here with many, many folks from the community. This is a wonderful community event, once again, put on by the City Rec and Parks Department. Why is it special for you to be here with your family? Oh, it's, it's just tremendous. It's a special opportunity to sit down. And, and of course, my kids have their long wish list to provide to Santa today. So uh, the, the Santa better, better be ready to sit there for quite a while, I think. <laughs> you have four kids, and congratulations on your newest son. Thank you. Yes, had a son. Xavier Alegria, it looks like she wants to grab the microphone here. <laughs> yeah, your oldest daughter, she's getting some food. Do you want to wish everyone a happy holidays? Happy holidays. Now being joined by Nassos and Cleos, two musicians today. Are you excited to play? Yeah. What are you looking forward to? Um, I'm just really looking forward to being here in general. Um, I'm really, really happy to be here today to play, share my music. Tell me why you decided to be a musician and how, and how old you were when you started playing. Well, I don't know how old I was, but I started playing in fourth grade. And why do you love playing? Uh, because music is beautiful and people love it. How about you? When did you start playing um, and what inspired you? Um, like, like my brother, I started in fourth grade. Um, you know, I really wanted to get good at an instrument because, you know, I, I've seen people playing instruments a lot. and I, I really like music in general. This is my third year volunteering for the uh, for the breakfast for Santa, and it's just like a nice way to just like get festive, and play some Christmas music and just serve the community. What it's are some of your favorite holiday songs? Um, well, you know I like Jingle Bells. You know, just like the basics.
this is a great opportunity for us to give back to the community. We have many of the musicians and students that have started at a very early age, and we've been part of Breakfast with Santa since 2000, I believe, eight, or at least a good 10 years, 12 years with Breakfast with Santa. And it's a wonderful opportunity for them to play and give back to their community and also help support the special needs children. Um, talk about your program, though, that you have with your music programs. We have great two music programs. You'll see it on our website. We have Suzuki's Graduation, which is all children can play the violin. And we also have the Royal Conservatory, which is known throughout the world. And you teach right here at Hess Park. We have our group classes are here at Hess Park and also for private lessons. It's great to be here with you, Andrew Berg with Rec and Parks. And of course, right now, you're one of the chief elves for the North Pole. How's it going with Brunch with Santa? So far, so good. We checked in about 100 people, and they're all down there enjoying breakfast right now. And of course, this used to be Breakfast with Santa, but it's expanded because it's become so popular. So there's two settings. That's Brunch with Santa. You've seen it grow from last year, your first time. What are you thinking about just how this community has come together for this? I think it's great. I mean, it's obviously a popular event. It, it sold out so fast last year, we realized, man, we got to expand it. So we decided to do two seatings and we filled those up and uh, the community really seems to love it. So every, all the families come out. And, and of course, the most important part is this benefits the REACH program. From your perspective, why is this such a valuable program in our, in our community? Well, I think it's really valuable because uh, it doesn't just benefit the REACH program, but the REACH program helps put it on. The REACH program made a lot of what's being sold here. They were here volunteering for the setup, helping decorate. Uh, they've been here today working and really making the event happen. So um, they're part of the community. They're serving their community, and uh, they really create a great event. You joined REACH in 1998, and you are one of the big elves here. What do you love about the REACH program? Uh, it's fun and being uh, the kind of fans. I mean, it was a lot of money for us to be to friends on the weekends, like Saturdays, and it's just fun and just don't make us have fun. Oh, Paige, oh, here oh, comes Santa. Great. Paige, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Paige. How are you doing? Doing well. How about you? I'm doing well. This is special. You got Santa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Interviewed, huh? Big time. Hello, everyone. Wow. Santa, perfect timing. We're talking about the REACH program. You know how important this is for all the good little girls and boys out there. The REACH program is wonderful. It's been around for 30 years, does incredible work, and Paige is one of our best members and one of our finest elves today. Thank you. What do you love about this event, Paige? You come all the time. Every year you come here. Just, just being out with the other people and just being around everybody. All right, I'm here with my RPV TV helper today, and we thought we had to take another photo op, and mine says, let's get elfed up. What are you loving about today, Gina? Uh, today's been a lot of fun. We got to see Santa arrive on the fire truck for Christmas. I love seeing all the little kids running around and having a lot of fun, waiting for Santa and playing with each other. We love it because Santa's here and he greets us with the fire truck and then we get a great breakfast and all the kids get a really nice story usually after breakfast and it's just nice because it's, it's sort of casual but then it's also fun and festive. Did you get to meet Santa? Did you tell Santa what you want for Christmas? <laughs> How about for you? I know you are the oldest brother here. What do you love about coming here? Uh, I like about coming here because I like um, hearing all the puppet shows and and I like the coloring pages and I like giving Santa my Christmas list and it and it's a lot of fun. Well, did you put a Christmas list together too? Yeah. What'd you say? I had I said a video game, um, a camera, and oh. a um, camera, that's really exciting. Maybe that you can come work with us at RPV TV. We'd love that if you're going to be a cameraman. And for you, Dad, how about for you bringing your family here? I like it that it gets you into the holiday spirit and seeing Santa come on the fire truck and the kids enjoy the breakfast and having a good time. All right, I'm here with one of the terrific volunteers today. You're at the goodie bag station. How's it going? 
it's going good. We have a bunch of fun goodies here to get the kids in the holiday spirit, like some reindeer ears and then fun um, flyers for different workshops and stuff. What are you enjoying about today? I know you're here to give community hours. Yeah, it was really fun for me to meet all the little kids and let them choose which bag they want. It was really fun. Sandra brought with them another great elf that used to work with the city, Elf Nancy. You're back volunteering. And tell us what's going on today for you. Well, I'm here, moms and dads, boys and girls, and I wanted to tell you about a new event that the city's doing, and it's a gingerbread workshop. These gingerbread houses were donated by Mayor's Bakery, and the event is gonna take place at Hess Park. It's on Sunday, December 16th, so mark your calendars. We have two seatings. One is 11 o'clock till 12.30, and then the next one is 12.30 to two. It's $45 per gingerbread house. So call the city, get online, whatever you gotta do to sign up. But anyway, we're hoping you're gonna show up and have some fun building a gingerbread house. You know, it's gonna be a blast. <laughs> it's such a blast to have you back here. You love this event. Talk about why it's always been special. You've worked it so many years. So, you know, just look around. It's, it's just decorated for the holidays. Parents and kids, Santa's coming on a fire truck. I mean, it's, this is a feel good. Great, always and fun to be with Mrs. So Claus. Fun. Are you feeling the holiday spirit today? Absolutely, uh, we're so excited to have this event here at Hess Park. It's been going on for a really long time and it's for a really great cause. Of course, and of course we know you're here to keep Santa in line. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. What are you enjoying about the day for you? It's your first time participating, you said. Yes, yeah, um, I just love seeing all the kids and the families here just supporting, you know, our REACH program, and I just think it's a great opportunity for everybody to come, you know, together as a city and, and all hang out together. Ella, did you have fun today? Yes. So tell us, what did you tell Santa? I told Santa that I want a talking unicorn. Oh, I love unicorns, and you sparkle like a unicorn. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Do you know any Christmas songs? What one do you like to sing? I like to sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Can you sing it for us? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was, had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. That is awesome. Daughter's so precious. She, she asked Santa for a special unicorn. Yeah, a talking unicorn that speaks English. <laughs> That's too fun. Why do you think this is a special event? What have you enjoyed about it? Uh, it was just so interactive with the kids and, you know, obviously meeting Santa and getting to take pictures and the music was great and the food was great. So it was just a fun thing. I'm here with the beautiful Hunt family. Happy holidays. What have you enjoyed today? Happy holidays. Uh, we really enjoyed the um, puppet show, it was great, and meeting Santa on the fire truck was really fun. Yeah. What for you, Dad, what are you enjoying about the day? It was great to see the fire truck. We saw number 106 from Fire Station 106. We see it every day. It's our favorite fire truck, so that was pretty good. It's a great event for a wonderful cause, and we come here every year. What have you enjoyed about it? Everything. I think they do a great attention to detail. Um, they have a great spread. The kids love it. My daughter's been coming here for five years, and this is her first year, so we'll continue coming. I got to eat breakfast with Santa and take pictures in color. Can you wish everybody watching a big Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays for me? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone. As we wrap it up here on Around the Peninsula Holiday Edition, we've got to talk with the big guy. You had a great day, Santa. Fantastic day. Wonderful bunch of kids. Every single one on the nice list. All right. Well, we would love having you here. And, of course, a big thank you to my nice intern, Gina Dehovic, who's helping us here at RPV TV. We want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And there's only one way to end our show, and that is with a big... Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. All right. See you next time. Thanks for joining us.